Today I want to get the excavator there to the big tree. I'm gonna clear up that broken glass and everything that I told you guys about it. I'm gonna lay the driving mats here because it's very wet and I don't want to tear this part of the garden up. And then we'll start digging and see what we find. It's crazy how wet it is. And it still is over here. Just a little reminder of where Philippe is working and clearing stuff out at the moment. It's basically the area around the tree with all the mistletoe and further up to the right where there are two elderberry trees and a peach tree. Okay, when I scrape this, there's no plastics in here so that's good to see that so will be this there behind you guys there is another mount with a lot of shit in it and around that tree that I started clearing so. having a quick look with the rake seeing if I see any more plastics but this looks pretty good some styrofoam some metal you could ask yourself why bother cleaning this up well I don't want Odin or any of the future children running around here cutting their feet on metal or glass even people in 200 years, they'll be happy that I cleaned this. Or the chickens, I don't want them eating plastic bits. I like to have Kleenex. Didn't find too much over here, so that's good. This is one giant burn pile, so all this I'm scooping out, putting on a big pile and it's going away. The only things I'm taking out are these rocks. Because I can use these under the driveway or to build a chicken coop with it, rebuild it. Ah.
Good morning, another beautiful day. Uh, yesterday you saw me cleaning that big burn pile uh, with everything you don't want in there. I piled it up, gonna continue cleaning this part. Scrape off the top and see what I can find. And then we're gonna move on to the big pile, which I know will be full of uh, plastic and other stuff. It's just a little selection. Little selection of uh, what is in there. So yeah, like I said, loads of stuff. Like the other pile probably that I just cleaned, this one will be the same. The only thing I'm gonna try here is... I don't wanna knock out the tree. I'm just looking at it, if I don't see that much plastics or discolored soil then I just rake it out manually I think from here on, this I will scrape off and put in a different pile because from here on it's starting to get worse. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. My neighbor was just here and he told me this is uh, indeed the place, this and this, where he can remember uh, where that guy burned his stuff or threw all his garbage. They burned a mattress here I think, well try to burn it. This is uh, the inside of the mattress. I'm finding loads of these glass lids as well. These are for, uh, you know, closing those bottles to save uh, uh, yeah, food in them. Eh? This I'm going to start piling up again. It's a weird color again, very black and it smells. I 
As Philippe discovered more trash and noticed discolored smelly soil, we made the tough decision to remove the two elderberry trees and peach tree. We were concerned that the contaminated soil would affect the health of the fruit and berries they produced later in the season, so we sadly bid them farewell. We got a new rooster, he's still a little bit shy, won't go outside, he's pretty tame, uh, we chose this one especially because he's a little bit uh, yeah, tame, so with Odin and the dog and everything he doesn't start uh, attacking them, but uh, anyways I gotta clean his coop so he's not gonna be happy, but uh, he can learn to go outside. We take the old bedding out and we put it underneath their uh, stick where they sleep on and that's where they poop underneath. So we put it there and then we put new one in the beds. And so we rotate making it easier to clean up. These are the ropes that I find everywhere that get into the lawnmower. So it's better to put them in your pocket and in the bin or use them for something else than just throwing them around.
I found like an asthma inhaler between the burned garbage. I wouldn't be burning garbage if I had asthma. I don't think it's a great idea. Ne pas percer ou brûler, même après usage, which means don't pierce it or don't burn it, even after using it. Maybe you should have followed the advice. Two times I tried to get the fighter jets on camera, but uh, they were too quick and they were behind me, higher up in the sky doing banking maneuvers or something, two times. It's always you hear them, but when you're in the valley and with little uh, hills and everything, the sound comes from everywhere, so it's not always easy to get them on camera. Eugene, come here. Doen rustig. Je zet de wild aan het worden. Oké, ik heb dus metal uit of dit oud trailer. Put it in the van with all the other metal I found, and I'm gonna bring it uh, down to Claude, the mechanic. He has a big pile already, and when it's big enough, he's gonna sell it. Stack it because it's only like a hundred meters down the hill where I can uh, give it to Claude, so it's okay like this. This is actually quite nice. It's a wooden chassis, I hadn't seen it before, with a metal ring that goes around it where everything connects. What have I been doing here? I've been scooping out of here and raking out the bigger stones and plastics that I find. 
like this. So this is clean soil. This is still the pile that I need to do. If you want to rent a container to move the dirt, it does cost a lot of money. The more soil I can keep or clean myself, the better. Always handy a battery if you grow uh, vegetables, put batteries in the ground, your uh, vegetables will grow larger. So I dig until I hit the clay, this is clean, put it on the pile, rake it out, get the big stones out, get the metal and the plastic out and then I keep on pulling the clean soil into here and fill it up that way. This part has been quite okay, some glass, but uh, nothing major. This was the drainage pipe from around the new barn, on the side of the new barn. So that's why the water wouldn't go away. So I'm scooping it out, cleaning it all, and then I'll leave it for now. If we got the uh, rain or stuff again, it can at least drain in here. Uh, so yeah, that's how you start to get uh, problems around your buildings. If you start clogging up uh, drains with garbage, then yeah, this is the effect you get. Okay, so what's the plan? I was looking for a container. But that's easily gonna cost us 500 euros. So yesterday I did some more researching and I found a study, well, a study that they use plants to, uh, to clean contaminated soil. So like this with the uh, microplastics in it and uh, probably some oil and other stuff. So they use like a birch, birch tree they have shown it takes anywhere up to, I don't know, 20% of microplastic into its roots. Uh, sunflowers, ferns, there's some other plants, I didn't remember them all. But uh, it does get used to clean the soil instead of just digging it away. You clean it. What I'm gonna do it now, manually, try to take all the metal, glass, plastics and every other bit that doesn't need to be there take it out as much as I can and then uh, we're just gonna put plants on here plants that uh, take up the contaminants into their roots and do it for us the only disadvantage is that it uh, takes a while it can take up to 10 years uh, but we're not talking about uh, industrial contamination here and now I'm gonna do my thing which is scooping raking and scooping again
Pikachu! I found a funny keychain. <laughs> it's very funny. The name of the village is on it. I'm gonna keep it. And then it says Pays de l'arbre et de l'eau. So the land of trees and water. So this is quite defined to find in the soil. Anybody wants some pants? I have a Pokemon t-shirt and some sweatpants for sale. Done for today. My back hurts, my arm hurts. I'm lucky that I have a little digger. I can scrape and put it in place. But to get uh, everything out, I still have to manually rake it to be able to see what's in it. Uh, it's quite a hard job to do. Anyways, enough for today. It's Sunday. I'm gonna sit. I'm gonna have a shower. And that's it. Okay, let the rating begin. Ah, oh, Mr. Rooster. The other good part is this, or a lot of nettles, so I'm getting them out by the roots. So. Win-win, I guess. And I saw a lot of comments, oh, a lot, a few, and I'm happy I'm not the only one who bought a, a property where they have this as well, these garbage piles and stuff laying around. Well, I'm not happy in the sense that they have to go through the same thing I'm doing, but I'm happy that it's not abnormal. Well, I knew a little bit it's not abnormal. You see a lot of old farms with a, a lot of old stuff laying around. And we visited a few farms before we bought this one. So, But you don't know what it will bring. You're buying a lot of land. so And most of the time it's all overgrown. So you just don't know. You can take your drone up, but you still won't see it. What I find a lot here is oyster shells, some other seafood shells, and sardines. So somebody liked the ocean, but I have some news for you. When you put your plastic in the ground, it becomes microplastic, it goes in the river. Where does the river go? It goes to the sea. What lives in the sea? Polluting is like shitting your own bed. I'm sorry you guys have to witness me cleaning it, but uh, once I have seen something like this, I can't unsee it or delete it from my brain. I need to 
take care of it. gonna call it a day I'm tired it's uh, six I'm gonna clean up behind me there is the clean soil which I've cleaned it goes uh, a meter deeper because I cleaned everything until I hit the clay ground where nothing was in so yeah it's going pretty good it is hard work though